My name is Gabe Zoll, and I'd like to take some time, if we could, this evening and talk about what happened last night on the Greta Van Strassen show. We had a true, true American patriot being pretty much grilled by uh, the anchor of Greta Van Susteren's show, Greta Van Susteren herself. I don't understand how it is that someone that is supposed to uh, provide the news is trying to make the news. No one cares what you think, Greta, or no one cares what Bill O'Reilly thinks, or for that matter, what Sean Hannity thinks as far as whether or not Obama's eligible to be in the White House. You're supposed to relay the news, not make the news. You know, you told, you told Mr. Trump that, uh, well, you believe that uh, he was born in Hawaii because of the two articles that were posted in the newspapers when he was born, or shortly after he was born. If you ever took the time to listen to the press releases, there's two of them, that Mike Zulu and Sheriff Joe put together, you probably understand, because in those press releases, Mike Zulu makes it very clear that hundreds, if not thousands, of Japanese-born children, their parents put their names in the Hawaiian newspapers as well. Why? Because it was very easy to become an American citizen through that process in Hawaii. And what would happen is, once the child became of age, he would naturalize the entire family. So, so we don't really care, once again, what you think, what Hannity thinks, or what O'Reilly thinks. Your job is to report the news, not to make the news. And who are you to tell Mr. Trump that he should offer $100 million to Obama because he's a rich man? Obama will never release that information, no matter if he gave him a trillion dollars. The reason is because if he did, he would be charged with treason because he was never eligible, and the documents that are contained in Occidental Harbor would prove that. They would prove that he attended those institutions of higher education on a foreign passport, an Indonesia passport. He came in under affirmative action, and guess what? He was not born in America because he entered with his Indonesian passport. How else could he have traveled to Indonesia in 1980 when Americans weren't allowed to travel to Indonesia in 1980? But anyway, that's a whole different story. You owe Donald Trump an apology for the way you spoke to him. You owe the American people an apology the way you spoke to Mr. Trump as well. And you know what? I am one person that will never watch your show again. And I honestly believe that there's millions of other people that feel the same way based on the way you humiliate Mr. Trump, who again is a true patriot, unlike yourself. You've got to leave that Saul Alinsky book alone. I think you spent too much time reading it and you're now executing on some of those tactics. We don't need it. We don't want it. And whoever you work for within your organization should sit you down and talk to you. And just once again, remind you, we report, you decide. You don't need to decide for us. Thank you.